And there is a picture of the challenge, apparently, next to a glass, which you do win if you complete it. Uh, currently, 13 out of 120 attempts have been successful, so let's see what happens. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're outside Brawler's Back Alley Deli in Buffalo, New York. So this is right downtown Buffalo. We got a little, I don't know, that's their little logo insignia character up there. Uh, so we're here to do their barrel sandwich challenge. From my understanding, it's about a four-ish pound sandwich consisting of a variety of meats, a variety of vegetables, a variety of cheeses, etc., etc. Um, we have, I believe, an hour to complete it. If not, I think it's $30. So let's head on in, see what we can do, and let's go. All right, everyone, and here is the barrel. So it's a one hour time limit. If not, the price tag is $40. Current record is about 12 minutes. Uh, it looks delicious. There's a variety of pastrami, looks like some turkey, some coleslaw, different cheeses, all on some really nice looking whole grain bread. So let's get going. All right, so we're starting right now. This looks very delicious. Holy cow, there's a lot of meat on this thing. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video as we take on the Barrel Sandwich Challenge at Brawler's Back Alley Deli in downtown Buffalo, New York. So this is a really cool challenge. I've actually been trying to do this challenge for over a year. I tried to do it as maybe like my sixth food challenge or something like that back in April of 2018, now being May of 2019, it's been a considerable amount of time. So for this challenge, we had one hour to complete it. If not, it was a $40 price tag. Sandwich itself had over three and a half pounds of meat, plus the coleslaw, the uh, bread, the cheeses. Very nice variety of that, I will add. We had pastrami, we had turkey, there's a roast beef on there. I think that might have been it. There might have been something else too, but I tell you what, it was very, very, very delicious. I'm a big sandwich person, a big deli meat person, and this definitely did not disappoint. So. Only 13 out of 120 attempts had completed uh, the challenge, so I, you know, was a little weary going into it. Uh, that's, you know, 10%. Meh. You know, I've heard, seen worse odds, but I've definitely seen a lot better. Um, at this point, though, thoroughly enjoying the sandwich. It was falling apart all over the place, but, you know, I tried to keep it clean and together the best I could. I did have condiments on the side, however, at least at this point I did not use them, but I won't give it away, I'll to let you tune in, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> it's really good.
running out of liquid. done. So just over six minutes. Very delicious sandwich. Nice variety of meats on it. There's pastrami, turkey. I don't even know what else. Roast beef. I really enjoyed it. Nice uh, nice bit of moisture to it. And we've got a new record. So with that everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. So very tasty challenge. Really did enjoy it. I really like, uh, I do like deli meats and like sandwiches like that. And it was a really nice sandwich. Had a nice bit of moisture to it. Um, I had condiments like on the side there, like ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, etc., uh, which I did not end up using. Uh, but there's coleslaw on it. And like I said, it was moist enough I didn't really need it. So that was really cool. Uh, the staff here are extra friendly. Definitely would recommend if you're ever in the downtown area. They uh, operate during the week, like a Monday to Friday basis. Uh, more so kind of like a lunch, a lunch place. But I really liked it. Cool spot. I'll show you kind of down here. It's like a little, you know, back alley deli. It's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty, it almost looks like a little bit of a, I don't know, a little dungeon or something down here. So it's really cool. So that everyone, thanks again. And uh, we got some more eating to do later. And for completing the challenge, uh, in top of getting the sandwich for free, I actually also got a little Pearl Street, glass which uh, per, the Pearl Street's like the restaurant upstairs and then this is like the downstairs version and yeah and it's on Pearl Street this restaurant so nothing wrong with that so here in downtown Buffalo although I've been to Buffalo a number of times I've never really well I mean I've passed through this part of the downtown but I never really got to see any of it so it's actually pretty cool actually there's a lot more uh, architecture than I would have thought it's actually a pretty cool looking spot uh, here we have the Salem hot dog uh, like baseball arena where they have their uh, pro ball team. There is also some big building there called the, I think it's Dunn's building or something, which, which I've heard of. Some, I heard somebody mention it before. Um, there's a big bank over there which is really beautiful architecture. There's some massive other building downtown. So yeah, actually downtown Buffalo is actually pretty cool. It's a little, uh, little bit more concrete than I would have thought, but I like it. Like, I can deal with it. So, yeah, downtown Buffalo. I approve. I like it. I think you're all set, right? All set. Dude, good man. It was good. Good man. It was damn good. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs>